everybody what is up today i am starting a weekly vlog which is very weird i have to say because i pretty much quit my youtube career the first time around like two years ago so all of this is really weird especially coming in as a completely different person as an adult so yeah i am about to go to work um, I am starting off the work day at a coffee shop and then I'm gonna head to church because that is where I work currently. I'm doing a youth internship. I'm also gonna get my nails done today because these are ratchets. Can I get an amen? Yeah, I am gonna go to work and hopefully this whole vlog situation goes well. I hope you enjoy this vlog because I don't really remember how to do this, but here we go. We're at a coffee shop doing work. Where do I look? Oh, that's not how you find it, right? Yeah, I always look up there too. Okay, we have left the coffee shop. We're about to go to Party City and Home Depot to try to make a jumbo jenga yeah, somehow. <laughs> Welcome to Mukbang! <laughs> <laughs> we got sushi. We're on our lunch break <laughs> and what do you get? starving. I got four things. Oh my gosh, wind. So I got a California cone, a chopped scallop cone, and salmon and toro sashimi. This is huge, okay. I got it. Da, 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 da. Spicy Show salmon. Them. Salmon Mackey. Hey, where's my salmon Mackey? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we talking about? I don't know. Since it's mukbang. <laughs> mukbang or mukbang? I think it's mukbang. I think it's mukbang. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about boys. What do you look for in a guy, Kalina? We were just talking about this mm -hmm. too. For me, it's the biggest thing, obviously, would be that he's Christian. Not that looks play a big part. I need to be like super mm. shallow about this, but like I need to be attracted to the guy too, right? So yeah. No, it is important. Um. So if we're talking surface level things, somebody that's taller than me for sure. I mean, that's not hard. I'm five foot two. <laughs> so never had that problem yet. It's hard for me. I'm like five nine. 5'10", mm. maybe 5'11", I'm not sure. What are some character qualities that you like in a guy? Obviously like super nice caring and someone that puts others before themselves. Mm -hmm. Not that because I want them to do things for me, but just like the heart of a servant kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Well, going into marriage, it's not they're going in to serve the other person anyway, so mm -hmm. obviously you would want someone to serve you when you're serving them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, someone that, like, really respects my family. I should be using chopsticks for this. Yeah, why aren't you? Do you think with your hand is just so much more fun, you know? I think two things I look for is character and chemistry. So, like, the yes. physical thing is chemistry for sure, like, is there chemistry mm -hmm. physically but also like are you socially compatible mm -hmm. with this person because I don't know we just we just um, met this really awkward guy and like right off the bat I would I could already tell like this isn't someone that I would ever want to be with just because I felt so awkward like yeah like I want I to he enjoy want hanging <laughs> out with my I think also We're I need to be now. friends with the person first so I'm on a diet right now where I'm doing low carbs low sugar and low salt so basically I can't eat bread I can't eat rice it's really devastating actually. I could never do low carb <laughs> I love raw salmon mm -hmm. I love how thick they cut it here too yeah, like my rolls, they're really thick. Mm -hmm. Thick with two C's. So when the word like thick became more popular, mm -hmm. I didn't know what it meant. So I thought it was like calling people fat. So one time I was in Koreatown with two of my friends and they were like both guys. So it was just like even more awkward. But 
we got out of the car in Korea. No, it was in Little Tokyo. We got out of the car and this guy yells at me. He's like, girl, you thicker than a snickerdoodle bar. <laughs> and I like screamed and I ran. I was so embarrassed. That's, I can see I why. Because I thought he was calling yeah. me fat. So I was like, that's so sad. Aww. And then I felt insecure for the rest of the night. End of story. It's a really cool story, I know. So now we are at Party City. We're looking for decorations and balloons and stuff. We're hosting a block party for our youth ministry. So we're just looking around at decorations and balloons. Next stop, Home Depot. No, it's too small. She's learning how to pick out good pine wood. She's so confused. <laughs> She's so confused. How's it going? I'm trying to see if this is straight. How is this? How would this not be straight? Well. It looks pretty straight to me. We're looking for two by fours to cut into smaller pieces to make a jumbo jenga for our event. We're not really handy women, so. This is risking your life. For ministry <laughs> we got it in this tiny buggy though like um, I drive the tiniest car alive where's my back and we managed home from the nail salon I got red since it's Canada day just in a few days and I also got an upper lip wax and an eyebrow wax it looks great but I have really sensitive skin so it's really red right now here's a closer look at the nails I think they did a really good job I really like them good morning everybody today I am yet again going to work adulting you know so I am going to Kalina's house you guys met her yesterday we dropped off all the wood at her house because she has all the tools to finish it but we're gonna finish up the actual Jenga game so we can use it for our event so here is my outfit for today I have some Jamie jeans on a random white t-shirt on the sweater is from Oak and Fort I have a little midi ring on from Hong Kong my hoops are from a friend who actually gifted them to me in Kenya. Shout out to Regina. And my glasses are from a store in Hong Kong as well. As you can see, it's a super cloudy day. But we're here. We're about to cut the wood. Kalina's dad is helping. We have a Kalina here. So here's an update of what we've been doing. This is what we have so far. And this is what we have left. We have a long day ahead of us, to say the least. <laughs> we have finished it. We put it all in boxes so we can bring it to church. It actually only took us two hours. Not bad. <laughs> I am home now. I got my eyelashes done. They look pretty good. I don't like the lash lady as much as my normal lash lady in LA, but she's gonna have to do while I'm in Vancouver. 
So yeah, I am finished work. I still have a bit of reading to do, but a package came for me from Reformation. It's actually my first time ordering from them. So I'm really excited to open this up and I will show you what I got. Something else that I like about Reformation is that they are just really good for the environment. Like even the packaging, it came in a paper bag and um, all of their clothes are actually reused and recycled and all of that. So it's a little bit pricier, but it's also more sustainable and it's relatively better in the fashion industry. So I definitely recommend checking out Reformation. As a first impression, I gotta say I am really impressed with the quality. Just because when I read the website it was reused and recycled, I was like, the quality won't be amazing. But oh my gosh, these um, pieces feel so nice. And I can already tell that they're gonna be in my closet for a while. So I got this really cute mini dress. It is adorable. It has these little... Uh, spaghetti straps and I like how the neckline is kind of straight across. I really like it and I like the little frill But the print itself is so pretty. I love floral print for the summer and The shape of this dress. I like that it goes out at the bottom, but I will say It looks like it's gonna be a little bit short on me. I'm really tall and I have a big butt and this is supposed to be a mini dress so Crossing my fingers, it looks cute because I would actually love to wear this on my 21st birthday. But I also got this. It's a cute little mini skirt as well. It's high-waisted and it has these little flowers all over it. I also just like the color. I don't have anything in this color, so. I'm going to try these on and if they fit well, I will show you. All right, so this is the skirt. I think it is so cute and dainty. I feel really girly in it. Okay, guys, I really like this dress. The color just makes me look really tan, and I do love the straps and the neckline. And the rest of the dress just fits really well on my body. Again, it is a little short because I'm really tall, but... <laughs> It's a lot later in the day now. I watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy. It's just the best show ever, you know? But now I am ready to go out for dinner with my dad. I don't have a lot of options just because I can't eat any carbs, really. I can do low carbs, but um, it's preferred not to. Bobby. Ah, look at this. Very nice. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Herman. What you doing? What's up? Good morning, everybody. I don't have work until later in the afternoon, so I got to sleep in a little bit today, and now I am making myself a salad. I just put some mixed greens in a bowl, and now I'm cutting up strawberries. I'm also making coffee right now, and I have this coffee from Kenya when I went on a missions trip and it's from Java House. Really bomb. If you find this anywhere, I highly recommend. It's the one right from Kenya. It's actually coffee right from Nairobi and they're known for their coffee, so try it out if you like coffee. I gotta say, it's a little weird making food because I usually don't have time to make food. I actually really like cooking. I just don't have a lot of time for it, so. <sighs> Strawberries are so cute and tiny and yummy. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Herman. You want to go for a walk? I kind of look a little crazy right now, but I am actually at work right now at church and we have not been here all week So this is the first time you're actually seeing me work at my actual workplace Kalina is on her way right now 
I am just writing up an email. So yeah, here I am. So this is my hair. She also dyed my eyebrows. Honestly, they're a little bit messed up. So I'm gonna have to fill them in, but my hair looks really good. I love it. We're at Red Robins. <laughs> I'm already done, but we're here. So I just got home from a wedding. I totally forgot to film any of it, but here's a small clip and here is a photo. Enjoy. So it is actually a few days later. I'm going downtown with my mom today. We're gonna do some shopping. We're gonna have some brunch. It's gonna be a good time. So I just wanted to show you guys my outfit before I left. So, hi, this is me. My jacket is thrifted but you can just find a black denim jacket anywhere. My bodysuit is from Aritzia. It's by the brand Wilford Free. And then my pants are actually from H&M. They're super comfy. I feel like I can really move around in them. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> All right, everybody, it has been a long day, and I'm going to end off this vlog with a little haul. I went to Urban, I went to a thrift store, and I went to Indigo to buy a book. So starting off with the thrift store, I got these sunglasses. They don't really help block out the sun much, but they look really cool. Especially if you're wearing denim that day, you can do like a blue on blue type of thing. It's really cool. And then, speaking of denim, I got these amazing overalls that fit so nice on me and I'm just super happy about this find. So they just look like this. They're just really simple overalls. They cuff at the bottom and they're just really soft and it's already worn in, which is a nice thing. And then from Urban Outfitters, I don't know why I said it like that, I got this cute little bag. I like the patent leather, I like the white lining, and I really love the wooden accent right here, the bamboo. I really like it. I don't know. It's very chic, but it's also really unique, and I think it's cool. I needed a new purse. I got these face masks, because I love these. They were 4 for 12 
which is a pretty good deal I'd say. I really like these. I use these a lot. And then the last thing that I got from Urban is this brownish tan shirt. I think it's really cool. It's just a button up. It's really plain. It's um, made of a linen material so it's just comfy and it's gonna come in handy for the summer. Just tucked into shorts. It could just be worn unbuttoned however I want to wear it. It's pretty versatile. Okay so I forgot I also went to Topshop. I got a bunch of rings. It came in a little pack and I actually already lost one of the midi rings. I don't know how it already happened but those just I yeah I'm not even surprised that I lost it but it came in this little pack and um, yeah a few of them are empty because they're on my fingers and then I also got this layered necklace it has a cross a little coin thing I don't know and this little thing it's just it's cute so I like it and last but not least I went to indigo and I picked up a mug, which is super cute. It says, you did not wake up to be mediocre. I just think that is so inspirational. Like, I don't know why, but that just like gets me really hyped up. <laughs> and then I also got Everybody Always by Bob Goff. Uh, if you didn't know this about me, I love reading. I'm excited to read this one. Everyone's been hyped about this one, so. I'm excited. It looks really good. I've heard really great things. But that is the end of my vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you maybe next week with another type of video. Bye! I don't know what I'm doing.